Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 8 as you can see from the back glass uh, with a no Bluetooth issue. This one will be fun to repair. It's been long since I got a working Wi-Fi but great or non-functional Bluetooth so I'm hoping it will be an easy one. So as you can see the Wi-Fi is working. We have all our uh, Wi-Fi networks and now let's just go to about and I'm going to show you the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth address are uh, present as you can see but to be honest the Bluetooth MAC address has a lot of uh, weird letters a uh, different letters from the Wi-Fi address uh, Wi-Fi address sorry um, Wi-Fi MAC address but again it's not important the Bluetooth function is not working it's just keep searching and also in this video I'm going to show you the correct diagnostics and this one I'm pretty sure that we can fix it it's a very common to the iPhone 8 8 plus series to have a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth issue so now, as always, we're going to jump onto the microscope and see how this bad boy looks from the inside. So I guess, uh, let's go. So again, let's uh, go to our list of the bad words to other service, which I unfortunately I will not mention in this video. But I will give you a hint, it's a very deep SH, <laughs> which I guess is the right word, uh, the right words to describe this board so far. For me, to be honest, uh, when you have a board like this, I always clean it from the flux and anywhere has a dirtiness on the board. So as you can see, they already removed the Wi-Fi IC and the NAND, so they can do uh, so they unbound the Wi-Fi. But when you have a problem like this, you always need to start with the Wi-Fi IC, uh, even if the board was clean and the Wi-Fi is still under the compound. Everything related to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is there, so also check all the pads. Most of the pads are grunts, so you will not waste a lot of time measuring the pads. And always, uh, as I say, think twice, work once, so I guess that is my diagnostics for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth problem. And also a lot of times if the phone had an impact and you lose uh, the Wi-Fi Bluetooth function and you remove the Wi-Fi IC and you have a lot of great pads, for me it's always better to change the IC if you have a new one to make sure that device will not return to you. And don't forget again to check all the connections if you have any disconnection and uh, on any pad using your board view and obviously your multimeter <laughs> so uh, now let's remove the ic the wi-fi ic and see what is waiting for us under this ic So, uh, before we get started, let me just include something about the diagnostics. As I said, most of the pads are ground, and also um, other pads have a low measurement or OL. So, let me just show you a couple of the cases that you should focus on when you have a great Wi Fi. So, here we are on our ZXW. As you can see, this is the Wi Fi IC, and this is for the iPhone 8 Qualcomm version. It's the same. And as you can see, a lot of uh, ground pads, and also a lot of OL, and a lot of test points. If you have a disconnection, you can just do a disconnection between the pad and the root you can just you know do jumpers and also we have a couple of ol pads uh, let me just show you over here there is a very common issues that becomes you need to do a jumper from the test point to the pad itself from the root to the pad and these those pads are four um, lines between the wi-fi and the cpu uh, between them is a non-polarized capacitor I'm going to explain a little, little bit more about those capacitors right now. So you can see they go to the CPU. So now let's jump uh, to the schematics just to show you the connection. Here we are, our Wi-Fi IC. And now let's just go to C1132. And as you can see, those are the capacitors has a different symbol for the capacitor element. So those called non-polarized capacitors, uh, there are one of the many capacitors and they are uh, below one microfarad and, and participate in resistance, as you can see, 0 0.1. And also non-polarized capacitors are uh, without a positive or negative polarity. They have the same properties whichever way, uh, the, whichever way they are connected. So um, the uh, polarized capacitors has a negative and a positive, but this one has uh, no positive or negative uh, polarity. So uh, yeah, check those if you have any uh, disconnections. 
always measure all the pads uh, also before you uh, solder the Wi-Fi IC back and now I'm guessing we are going to uh, solder our new Wi-Fi IC and check uh, our work. So let's go. So after I soldered everything back together, and to be honest, I keep saying that uh, we need to solder the Wi-Fi IC back, but it's a Bluetooth problem. So now I'm going to connect the AirPods uh, to our iPhone 8 and see the uh, Bluetooth function. But there was a very weird, um, very weird problem, or as like a side effect, I guess, that the animation of the AirPods does not show up in the iPhone 8. Uh, on this particular iPhone, on other iPhones working okay, but it shows that it is in AirPods and connecting with no problems using Bluetooth and they're also playing, but after assembling the phone, uh, turns out that the upper flex cable, uh, I don't know, it was a very weird case, it must be connected to <laughs> the AirPods to show up uh, because as you see in this video, I did a in the end of the video, I did a lot of uh, restarts and uh, probably I wanted to do a restore, but it got the same problem because I said, as I said before, everything was okay. The AirPods connecting fine, but without the animation. So I guess the Bluetooth is working okay. We fixed our phone. Uh, the Wi-Fi is working, the Bluetooth is working. And I guess, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. As you can see, it's connected again. And stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.